Hi, my name is Manoj Krishna. I'm a spine surgeon. And I want to tell you a story today about one of my patients who presented with intermittent neck pain and went on to have surgery. Andrew presented with neck pain and arm pain, uh, which was quite severe when it was there, but then was intermittent and would come and go. You can see on the MRI that discs are reduced at C5, 6 and 6, 7. That's corroborated on the x-rays here as well. All the physiotherapy that we tried for him didn't work, and Andrew went on to have surgery in the form of a cervical disc replacement. The surgery takes an hour. Hospital stays only overnight. Here's Andrew talking about his story. Afternoon, Andrew. Afternoon. So, Andrew, you're 46 years old, and tell me a story about uh, how your neck problem started. Uh, it initially started uh, approximately three years ago, so I think we're talking 2000 and 2009. 2010. Um, initially, it was just uh, it was discomfort in my my uh, left shoulder, okay. uh, which um, which probably lasted for about uh, two to three weeks, and that was that was constant. Uh, probably just had uh, uh, sleepless nights. That was that was probably the worst side effect of it. Um, it happened again probably about 12, 18 months later. And it was the same pain again in my left shoulder, but it was uh, it was going down to my elbow as well, and that once once again lasted uh, two to three weeks, and then in November, two thousand and eleven, two thousand and twelve, sorry, uh, started having the same problem with my shoulder, the discomfort in my shoulder, and my elbow. But this time, after a, after a number of days. Um, my neck and shoulder went into spasm for the first time and I was totally immobilised and went to see my GP first and I was in serious discomfort, it was an emergency appointment and I was prescribed uh, Oromorp and Amitriptyline which, which worked and it, it took the, uh, the vast majority of the pain away I was still quite immobilised and that worked for a while. I had uh, the cortisone injections soon after that. Yes, so we did an MRI and it ah, showed yes. a couple of worn discs in your neck. Yeah, we had the MRI. So we the did these injections. Yes. And you were better. I had the injections on a Friday. Yeah. And immediately I started to feel the benefit. Even though I was still on the medication, um, I could feel the benefit. And I was due to travel back to Nigeria on the Monday. And you work on an oil rig? I work on an oil rig, yes. And so on the Saturday before travelling, this was one day after the cortisone injections, I stopped all of my medication, which was a big mistake. It was through no consultation with my GP, Mr Krishna. I stopped taking them because um, I, I was not allowed to work offshore. Uh, with opiates because right. of the health and safety risk the emergencies and so I stopped the medications all the medications all in one go and I still felt fine on the Monday morning I travelled to Nigeria uh, and Monday evening I started to feel a little bit discomfort in my left hand shoulder again and I thought that might be due to the long haul flight uh, Tuesday uh, on the helicopter and I joined the oil, the oil rig and the pain was a little bit more and within that's it, six, eight hours of being on the rig, my neck and shoulder went into spasm again. I wasn't on any medication and it was excruciating pain and totally immobilised. Yes, I got this emergency call from your wife <laughs> yes, yes. saying you're stuck in a hospital in Nigeria. Well, the next day, um, the next morning, I uh, went to see the rig doctor. They can only prescribe uh, certain painkillers. Um, he gave me what he could, which didn't even scratch the service. And uh, I was on the next helicopter back to town uh, into an international SOS hospital, uh, which they examined me and I told them about um, I wasn't on any medication. I'd stopped it on the Saturday, the, the Oromov and the Amitriptyline, which they despaired at. And it's because you were basically going into withdrawal symptoms from was, stopping the yes, morphine too was, quickly. I actually started to feel the withdrawal systems. I was starting to become really quite anxious and, yes. and almost uh, felt as if I could burst into tears at any time. It was, it was really quite surreal, really. And so I was 
straight away. I was back on, uh, not the Ormond, of course, back on the Amitriptyline, which settled me down, less so anxious. And But I was in the hospital for about five days and uh, an emergency flight home after that. And straight to see yourself. Yep, and we operated quite quickly because of the pain you were in. It was, it was uh, December, December the 10th. 10th. And now you are, uh, talk us through the surgery, your recovery and how you are now. Well, I said the surgery was on December the 10th. Uh, it was just the uh, one night in hospital. The next morning I, I felt fine. It, it was actually, apart from the, the scar on my throat, it was hard to believe I'd actually gone through what I would cons consider major surgery. Um, and went home, fine. I was, I was on, still on medication. I was on the amitriptyline. Uh, I don't think I was on the oromorph anymore. I think it was the amitriptyline, uh, the anti-inflammatories. And within about three days after the operation, I honestly felt as if there'd been no, I hadn't gone through a procedure like that. And I was almost back, to, I felt I was almost back to full range of movement. Uh, there was no heavy lifting. And I had to take it easy. There was no driving for the first week, which was which was okay. Every now and again, I may have um, maybe extended myself, uh, turned a little bit too sharp or too quickly, and felt may have felt some, uh, something in my neck. Not any sharp pain, but it just reminded me that I've got to be careful. And I now you're two months from surgery. Uh, two months from surgery, and I, I feel I feel great, ready to go back to work. I I feel as if I. If it hadn't been for not being able to do any heavy lifting, I felt as if I could have gone back to work long ago. Yes. Long ago. And Show us your range of movement now. Okay. Well, thank you very much. No problem.